put his skills up against the great Mike Tyson. That says a lot because Mike is Mike no matter what day it is or what night it is. So I'm anxious to see what's going on. All right, bringing the OG Funk along with Roy Jones Jr. Snoop Dogg and Israel. Uh, what about that guy Jones Jr. Going talk to yeah. He's going to talk shit. Snoop going to talk shit. What bedazzled you the most about Roy Jones Jr. in his heyday? For me, it's his confidence. He was so sure of himself. Mike had that as well, because Mike talked about that when he walked in the ring. But Roy had this confidence, this aura <laughs> of invincibility. Like he just knew, you can't, you can't rock with me. Like, I'm gonna go in there and impose my will. Bro, like, like I've been saying, it's it like a pit bull against a chihuahua. Chihuahua got that funk, but that pit bull, once he get that lock on you, that's it. You gotta get real fucking tonight. Man, I'm trying to get jail. You gotta get real fucking tonight. It's gonna be nice. Tyson is the epitome of what it means to be great, to come from nothing and become something. He was our hero. You know, we looked at our hero. Ali, and then it was Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was was the new era of, of what they had laid down. You know, riding with the baton, taking it to another level. So he represented the hood. He represented the turf that you could actually get up out of the hood and make it. So we really, you know, leaned on him and loved him for what he did, and we supported him through his good times, bad times, and his comeback. So. We've always been there for Mike Tyson. What did you think? Woo! Mike Tyson! Was a little stronger than usual. Let me call Roy the Mitch. Are y'all sure? Oh, boy. There's Roy Jones Jr. again, just an incredible athlete. He clapping his shit. He better be praying. Speed ain't shit when it ain't behind no power. Tyson got power. I don't care about no speed. When that hoe hit you, that's it. <laughs> Let's go. The bucket list. Because you get your head knocked off after this. <laughs> Man, I don't give a damn about that. That nigga going for your head. That's a pit bull. He's a guy that still retained a little bit of that. Two legends in one ring. And that's the legend right there. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> two legends in one ring. Yeah. Okay, look at it. Here he go. Uh oh. George. Oh, let's see what you got, boy. I got to get it in with Mike. <laughs> Look at him. He playing. He was, he was oh, playing before he got it. I don't want to know these. I'm like, you that crazy? You made him want to fight He like said the last of the greatest. Well, you already, you remember what he said. It like, uh, God against Goliath. I'm like, I don't know. He already looked that it's okay. Let's see what he got. He got a face mask on. He don't need that face mask. He don't know, Mike. He got free. <laughs> I think I can go up to buy six. And now making his efforts to the ring. The former two-time heavyweight world champion. No, the Whoa! Let's, Let's go! go Mike. Look at him, Mike. Look at him. He ain't playing no game. He coming out like a 
like a beast. Look at him. Oh, Lord. Look at him. Oh, Lord. That's that boy. Everybody. Mike Tyson. Boy, he coming there already. Hey. Hey. Old school, it's old school. You have black socks. Man, say, back in the day, he was on the meds. Right now, he's just on medication, marijuana. Let's go, Mike Tyson. Oh, that's okay. Look here. Recording superstar, singer, actor, producer. Oh,